أعلنت وزارة الأوقاف والشؤون الدينية في غزة استهداف مسجدين ومقر إذاعة القرآن الكريم التابعة لها الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا What is Al-Aqsa? It's a holy place in Jerusalem, the Al-Aqsa Mosque, third holiest place in Islam. Why would Hamas have to name an operation Al-Aqsa Flood? Oh, could it be because the Israelis had for the past months, years, been desecrating the third holiest shrine in Islam? Could it be that the Israelis were disrupting Islamic worshipers? Throwing tear gas into a mosque? Beating up women? Bullying men? Maybe that's why it happened. The Saudi Arabians were talking about normalizing relations with the Israelis. They had forgotten about their precondition, about the necessity of a Palestinian state existing. Oh, we'll talk about it. No one's going to talk about it. Because once you normalize relations, it all becomes about the money, the money, the money. So why don't we uh, occupy certain parts of Saudi Arabia and why doesn't Israel occupy certain parts of Saudi Arabia to save these Saudis? What I see happening here is a political uh, trend. Return to Mecca means the return of the Israelites to Mecca, Medina, and Mount Sinai. The borders of Israel will go down from Lebanon all the way to Mecca and Medina. <laughs> ضابط السي اي اي السابق سكوت رايتر يعطي اردوغان والسعوديه درسا في الاسلام والانتماء وكل الدول العربيه والاسلاميه المتخادله على القضيه الفلسطينيه. I'm ashamed of the Arab world right now. I'm ashamed of the Muslim world. They had an opportunity. They had that joint extraordinary meeting in Riyadh last Saturday where they had a chance to squeeze Israel dead. With an oil embargo, and they chose not to, which means that they have chosen money and profit over Palestinian blood. So, yeah, this condemnation is across the board for the leaders in Saudi Arabia, for the leaders in Turkey, for the just <laughs> Erdogan may be out there saying the right thing, but he's allowing Turkey to transport Azeri oil over a pipeline onto ships in Turkish ports where they're sent to Israel to fuel the war machine. So Erdogan, you're a hypocrite. Shut the oil and I'll listen to you. What is Al-Aqsa? It's a holy place in Jerusalem, the Al-Aqsa Mosque, third holiest place in Islam. Why would Hamas have to name an operation Al-Aqsa flood? Oh, could it be because the Israelis had for the past months, years, been desecrating the third holiest shrine in Islam? Could it be that the Israelis were disrupting Islamic worshipers? Throwing tear gas into a mosque? Beating up women? Bullying men? Maybe that's why it happened. The Saudi Arabians were talking about normalizing relations with the Israelis. They had forgotten about their precondition, about the necessity of a Palestinian state existing. Oh, we'll talk about it. No one's going to talk about it. Because once you normalize relations, it all becomes about the money, the money, the money. No one was talking about a Palestinian state. No one cared about the Palestinians. Definitely not the president of the Palestinian Authority. Mahmoud Abbas, one of the most corrupt men in the world. And Fatah, what have they become? They become a mafia group that basically steals money meant to benefit the Palestinian people, puts it in their own pocket, builds villa after villa after villa after villa. The Palestinian people had been forgotten. Only one entity was speaking out for them. One, Hamas. Because if they had failed to do so, there would never be a Palestinian state. If uh, that the Arab Spring will come to Saudi Arabia, there will be such a civil war in Saudi Arabia, and it'll be Shiites versus Sunnis, it'll be Sunnis versus Sunnis, and what's gonna happen is those that are cooperating with the West 
are going to send out an SOS to the United States, come and save us. And the United States is going to say to Israel, you're going to have to help us on this one. So why don't we uh, occupy certain parts of Saudi Arabia? And why doesn't Israel occupy certain parts of Saudi Arabia to save these Saudis? What I see happening here is a political uh, trend. Return to Mecca means the return of the Israelites to Mecca, Medina, and Mount Sinai. The borders of Israel will go down from Lebanon all the way to Mecca and Medina. There will be more Christians also moving to Israel. The borders will go, according to Deuteronomy 11, from Nile to the Euphrates and from Lebanon to Saudi. Return to Mecca means this is the biblical roots for why this is about to happen. In أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الضغط على زر أعجبني ومشاركة الفيديو ولكي يصلك كل جديد اشترك في قناة I love you Allah